This is Kenneth Yates with MMAAbsolute.com and we're here with Paul Norman who's gearing up for his title shot against Ashton Castro this Saturday at the Hilo Civic. Paul, first of all, could you see this day coming? I mean, you and Ashton both fought on the same events numerous times. You guys are both fight at the same weight class. Did you expect to one day fight him? Uh, there was always a thought in my mind that I would fight him, but um, I don't know. It's kind of like we've been bouncing around and I knew that eventually we would end up we'd end up fighting. I mean, it, it was inevitable. We're both pretty good fighters, and I think we both have a lot to offer. So I mean, I think it's a it's a good venue, and I think people want to watch that fight. You know what I mean? So yeah, I thought we would fight. And you and uh, Ashton, you guys are um, you guys are friends. You, you guys, like I said, you guys know each other. Do you think their relationship will play a part in this fight? Um, you know, I. I doubt it, you know, we both know what we gotta go do and when I get in there it's a job, you know, I'm not I'm not here to play games, it's not fun for me, you know what I mean? The training is, is fun and it's great and on to chatting, but this is my life and this is I, I do this all day every day and this ain't a you know, there's nothing fun about being in the ring. There's it's it's the W that I'm looking for. I'm I'm trying my best to to, to end it as fast as possible. It doesn't matter to me how it ends, it's just I gotta I have to do what I have to do, and it's my job to make sure that I can put that the ref raises my hand at the end of the fight. And besides fighting for a title, which would make anyone train extra hard, but the fact that you're coming off back to back losses against two very talented and strong fighters like Danny Lopez and Maki Pitolo, but is this fight making you train like you never did before? Well, um, right now, is uh, I'm training as hard as I've you know, I've, I think I feel so in shape right now. I don't, I don't think I've ever felt more in shape in my life. Um, I was kind of bouncing around camp to camp, so it was kind of a transition for me to make. Um, but now that I'm settled in, I'm, I have great sparring partners in a great camp, and I have good coaches. Um, I'm coming, I'm coming for this on on Saturday. There's no way, there's no stopping me. I'm, you better believe that there's going to be a fight and there's going to be blood. And, and there's gonna be sweat and there's gonna be tears and uh, you know what I mean this is what fighters are made of this is what you know what I mean this is where dreams are bred and I'm I'm living that dream right now so I'm, I'm training my ass off for this fight speaking of training what are you doing to prepare for this fight um, I'm doing a lot of cardio um, I work my I work my ground a lot for this fight um, I, I feel like my ground is very one of my biggest attributes right now for this fight I don't care where it's gonna go we can we can stand up we can go we can go to the ground it doesn't matter to me um, I, lo I love everything about about fighting I just you know what I mean it's, it's not fun when your life's on the line this is my life so um, you know that's basically it and besides fighting for the title what is your your main motivation for this fight um, Besides fighting for the title, uh, it, you know, it's um, just leaving a, a mark, you know, and, and it's set in stone. Um, I, I don't really get to see my daughter as much as I'd like to see her. Um, uh, she's my um, determining factor in the last, um, in, in, in everything that I do. And, and I'm, I'm doing this so that she knows who I am and, and what I'm working for hard for and that you can no matter what it is you can you can try for it and don't let nobody ever tell you that you can't do it well paul thank you for your time you know uh, we appreciate you always uh, talking with us is there anything you'd like to say in closing any shout outs to anybody uh you know the sponsors family whoever uh, i'd like to thank um chris Cisneros, uh rudy v um keenan cohen uh we've had a very phenomenal um training camp i haven't stopped training and and that's due to them always on my you know i'm my ass so um that and i'd like to thank um my sponsors um animal kingdom uh, shop animal um and puna java uh, it's the best coffee that um that there is around so um i just like to thank god most importantly and and my mom and without her i couldn't make it to training every day and she helps me out and you know what i mean she knows i'm a struggling fighter so that's pretty much it well, thank you again. Best of luck, and we'll see you this weekend. See you there.